Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to hop on here and share with you what I was able to get while I was couponing at CVS this week. I also wanted to do kind of like um, a CVS for beginners kind of video. Um, and I actually had um, a whole a whole scenario planned out that I was going to show you guys that I did this week that would be really easy for beginners and um, when I went to the store I actually ended up going to two different stores and my store was sold out of most of the stuff that I was gonna get to, to show you guys so um, I'm just gonna try to explain everything with what I have here and um, hopefully next week I'll try to go to the store earlier in the week um, that way I can get the stuff before it goes off sale and I can get the video up earlier in the week that way you guys have an oppor uh, a bigger opportunity to go and get the deals. So, if you are new to couponing at CVS, the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to sign up for the extra care card. So, I think you can do that in store and they'll give you the little, the little card that you take in each time and they scan it. Or, I believe you can also sign up for an extra care account online and then you just each time you go in you just um, give them your phone number and they can pull up your account that way so that's the first thing that you want to do okay and so when you hear um, people talk about couponing at CVS um, you will hear them talk about digital coupons um, and you can also use coupons out of the newspaper as well I don't I don't buy newspapers just because I feel like that um, I don't save as much money that way because um, I'm paying for a newspaper as well. Um, so all the deals that I do are digital deals only. Um, so you'll hear people talk about two different kinds of coupons at CVS. So there's digital manufacturer coupons. So those are the coupons that are on everyone's account. Um, on their CVS account, you um, once you log in to your extra extra care account, um, you'll be able to see all your coupons. Usually at the top is the coupons that are CRTs, and I'll explain that in a minute. And once you scroll down to the bottom, there are the manufacturer coupons. Now the way that you can, if you're in your account, the way you can tell the difference is the manufacturer coupons usually have a picture, whereas the CRTs do not. Um, so a CRT, that is the other kind of coupon you'll hear people talk about, those are CVS coupons. So um, the way you earn, the way you get these is you can log into your account and you can see those. Like right on the app or on the website, you can see what CRTs are attached to your account for that week. Um, so um, another way that you can get CRTs is um, when you go into the store, you'll see the, the red box that usually in the front of the store that prints out coupons. Those are CRTs that print out there. And then also, um, you hear people talk a lot about the receipts at CVS being like super long. That's because of all the coupons that print on the, on the bottom of your receipt. Those are also CRTs. So you can either, you can, you can print them out at the red box. Um, you can, you can get them on the bottom of your receipt and you can go in the store and you can hand them to the cashier when you want to use them or you can just log into your account and you can send those coupons, the CRTs, as well as the manufacturer coupons directly to your card. The manufacturer coupons you have to send um, directly to your card from your account either on the website or in the app. Um, so um, another thing to, to pay attention to is those CRTs that print for your account, they're only good for your account. So you can't, say you got a four off of 18 hair care CRT. You can't give that to your friend and they use it with their card. It will not work. It is just for your specific card. Um, so, and they are not all the same. The manufacturer coupons that everyone gets, those are all the same for everyone. But the CRTs that I get, they might be different than the CRTs that you get. Um, so you just kinda, when, when you see the deals that people post, you gotta, you gotta go in and see if you have those same CRTs. So, um, so the deals that I might get at CVS this week might be different than the deals you're able to get at CVS this week. Um, so those new CRTs, they come out each week on Sunday. 
and they are good from one they're good for one week once they are printed um, so what what most people do at the end of the week on Saturday if you have any CRTs that have not printed you can log into your account and if you think you'll use them the next week you can send those to your card and they'll be good for the next week as well it just extends the expiration date on those um, let's see I'm checking over my notes to make sure that I don't miss anything. I don't feel like I'm the best person at explaining. I'm more of a go and shop with me and I'll show you kind of person. Um, but, but hopefully everything is making sense. Um, okay. And so next up is extra care box. Okay. So when you're looking at the CVS ad, oftentimes it will show, um, like for example this is the deal that i did this week okay these were the garnier whole blends shampoo and conditioner they were on sale two for seven dollars everyone got a crt for this so it was a two dollars off two garnier whole blends crt so that would have taken the total down from seven dollars down to five dollars and then um they are giving back three dollars in extra bucks this week so um you would pay five dollars out of pocket but then you would earn back three dollars so that would make them it would make it two dollars or a dollar a piece which is a really good deal so what you want to do each week is like you want to go in the idea is that you go in each week you buy something like this that earns extra bucks and then the next Time you go in either later on that week or you can you know you can go in you can do a transaction you can turn around and do another transaction or you can save those extra care bucks for the next week they all have an expiration date on them um, so just check that and don't let them expire because then you know you would lose money um, but basically what you want to do is you want to buy something that earns extra bucks and then you want to take those extra bucks and apply them to the next deal that you do in order to get more extra bucks and you just keep rolling those extra bucks and that helps keep your actual cash that you pay low and and that's how how the whole idea works um so hopefully that makes sense so what i um so when i first started couponing what i would do each week i would pull up the cvs ad okay and i would make a list of everything in the ad that i saw that was giving extra bucks now, sometimes when you go in the store, there are deals that are not advertised in their ad. So there are other deals, but this is just a like getting started way of couponing at CVS. So what I would do is I would go through the ad and I would write down every single deal that offered extra bucks. Then I would go into my account and I would see um, what coupons I have that would match up with the deals and what CRTs I had that matched up with the deals. And I would write that down and then I would figure out, okay, what would my out of pocket be and which deals are the best deals for me this week. And so that's kind of the idea is that you want to match up your deals so that, um, so that you're not paying a lot out of pocket or, you know, now what people do is they just go on YouTube and watch other people's deals and then they see if their coupons will match up. So definitely, definitely an idea. So um this is what i did this week um and and this is a deal that anyone can do so if you are new to cvs this is a deal that you could do so you're gonna go to cvs and you'll buy the two whole blends shampoo or conditioner for seven dollars everyone got that two dollars off crt so that would bring your total down to five dollars and then you earn back three dollars in extra bucks so then you have that $3 you can take and do another deal with that. Or you can save it for next week, which I'll be saving mine for next week um, just because they were sold out of the things that, that I went to purchase. I was going to get some deodorant. It would have been free. Um, they had Sure or Brute deodorant. It was on sale for $2, and then you would earn back $2 in extra bucks. So it's like getting that absolutely free. Um, they also had some Colgate toothpaste that was going to be on sale this week. Um, it was two for $7.98. Everyone should have had a manufacturer coupon for $7 off, which would have made it $0.98 cents for two toothpastes, which is 
a really good deal, especially when you're first starting out. Um, once you get into couponing a little bit more, you realize the stuff that you can get for free and you wouldn't want to pay for it. Just like the Colgate toothpaste. I mean, 98 cents for two, that's a pretty good deal. But if you're used to getting it for free, you know, you might want to hold off till the next week and you learn the deals and you learn, um, what you should be paying. So I hope this all makes sense. Um, if you have any questions at all, don't hesitate, please comment down below and I will try my best to answer, um, any questions that you have. But thank you guys so much for watching and please hit the subscribe button um, so that I'm able to grow my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day guys. Bye.